What is the Bible? What is it worth? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Life is full of struggles and it is hard. But we are made in the image of God. Lord, I have to praise you to the moon and back. I don't see anything wrong with that. Lord, it's me you help. Lord, it's me you kept. Lord, it's me you move. Lord, it's me you grieve. Lord, it's me you touch. I love you so much. Oh, my Lord, I have to say thank you. Open my eyes. What do I see? Have I inventoried my life lately? Welcome to Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, to God goes the glory. God goes the glory, the glory, glory. <laughs> All right, all right, welcome to Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry. Our mission, to provide the knowledge that will train sisters and brothers in Christ to spread God's love and create disciples. Our vision, to share all resources that will aid in the knowledge necessary for the building of God's kingdom. The adversary does not know what to do with those who possess integrity. We are not human beings on a spiritual journey. On the contrary, we are spiritual beings on a human journey. With that being said, we will open this Holy Bible study session up with prayer. So please join in. O Holy Eternal Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it is once again that we come unto you as humble as we know how, realizing that you are the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God. You love us more than we love ourselves at times. We continue to confess our knowledge of our sinful ways, and it is only because of your grace as well as your mercy that we are kept, saved in your glory. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Please direct us in your ways that your will be done, using us as your willing vessels. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, now, blessings to all. Welcome again. I am Jerry. This portion of our studies covers Day 5, Animal Life. We do have a certain amount of development. This does not mean that everything came from one little cell, but that God made one of each creature, and there has been development from each one. God commanded the fish and fowl to be produced. This command he himself executed. Insects, which are more numerous than the birds and the beast, and as curious, seem to have been part of this day's work. The Creator's wisdom and power are to be admired, as much in an ant as in an elephant. The power of God's providence preserves all things, and fruitfulness is the effect of his blessing. Our scripture will be coming from Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 through 25, King James Version, starting at verse 20. Let's read, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Verse 21. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth. Which the waters brought forth abundantly. After their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 22. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. Verse 23, And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Verse 24, And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. Verse 25, And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, 
and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. All right, now it's time for our verse breakdown, starting with Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures, the, the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. All right, now the ancient person sees the world in three parts the watery world of seas, lakes, and rivers the habitable world of dry ground, and the above ground world of the atmosphere. All right, now the word kind does not mean species, but it means more than that. The word is phylum. Phylum is a synonym for kind. If you will look up that word in the dictionary, you will see that it means a direct line of descent within a group. For instance, It would include not just one horse, but every animal in the horse family. God created one like that, and there has been development from each one. Tremendous development, might I say. Also, there has been devolution. That is, there has been development, then later there has been degeneration. Alright, now day five of creation begins as the others have, with God speaking. But on this day, God speaks into existence the living animals for the watery world and the sky. As before, this is presented from an observational perspective, what the author or any reader could see. Okay, uh, The signs of animal life appearing in the waters and in the air. Moving creature mean, meaning... All producing young by means of eggs that are hatched after they have been laid by the parent. Animals, both among the finny and the feathery tribes, remarkable for their rapid and massive increase. Alright, moving on to Genesis chapter 1 verse 21. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Alright now the unpolluted and unfished waters of the ancient world teem with life. This includes water creatures of massive size. Something the author Moses is aware of at some level. Um, has he heard of great whales that have breached the surface of the ocean or washed up on the beach? God's creation has variety that is barely imaginable for us. After hundreds of years of study, scientists are still discovering and classifying new water creatures. The author also acknowledges creation of the creatures of the atmospheric world, um, the birds. He knows that most creatures do not have the capability of flight, only those with wings. These make up a special and wonderful category of God's good created animals. The author also gives another insight into the wonder and awe of the ancient person when it comes to beholding God's created order the reproductive capability of water creatures and birds. This is their ability to produce offspring after his or their kind. Why does a sparrow always produce reproduce sparrows and not eagles sometimes? Hmm. Why does a trout always reproduce trout and not barracudas sometimes? Hmm. This is part of God's created order, as observed by the author, and it is marvelous for him. As we appreciate the enormous variety of God's creatures, we should also understand the boundaries for variation he has built into each one. Fowl, meaning every flying thing, the word rendered whales, also include sharks, crocodiles, etc. So, that from the countless shoals of small fish to the great sea monsters, from the tiny insect 
To the king of birds, the waters and the air were suddenly made to swarm with creatures formed to live and sport in their respective elements. Right now, moving on to Genesis chapter 1, verse 22. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. How many of each type of fish or bird does God create? To get things started. Hmm. We do not know. But we do see that his plan includes multiplication of these creatures. He intends that the salt waters and fresh waters be filled with appropriate creatures. God intends that his creative variety of birds multiply and spread throughout the earth. It is a tragedy when a species becomes extinct because of human behavior. All right, now let's move on to Genesis chapter 1, verse 23. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. As the day ends by marking the cycle of the evening and the morning, the sustaining earth has been stopped in its waters and in its air. All right, now, day six, fertility of animal life. A farther advance was made by the creation of terrestrial animals all the various species of which are included in three classes. First you have cattle and herbivore kind of capable labor or domestication. Second, wild animals whose uh, ravenous natures were then kept in check. And third, all the various forms of creeping things from the huge reptiles to the insignificant caterpillars. Right now, moving on to Genesis chapter 1, verse 24. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping things, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. God speaks again, and on day 6, to call into existence specific components of his overall created order. On this day, God addresses the dry land, the earth itself. This would be the home of God's ultimate creator, Asian, human beings, later in this same day. Found in Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 through 30, which will be our next session. Alright, now there are three general categories of land animals presented. The first, cattle, is a generic term that means more than just cows. It generally refers to herded animals and here it has a sense of domesticated livestock as distinct from wild animals. Right, now this may include goats and sheep which are popular choices among the cultures depending on herding. Later in the history of Israel it would be animals from the category that are considered ritually clean for food or, or sacrifices, which we'll, we can find in Leviticus chapter 11. Right now, the second category, the creeping thing, refers to the creatures that live on the ground, including reptiles and snakes. Such animals will not be considered clean when the food laws are instituted for Israel, found in Leviticus chapter 11, verse 42. It is also likely that the tempting servant uh, the tempting serpent of the coming story is um, uh, found in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 is included in this category. The third category, the beast of the earth, refers to wild animals. We might divide these into carnivore, for example, lion, herbivore, for example, the gazelles, and omnivore, for example, bears. Such animals might be hunted for food, but they are not part of the nomadic herd or a located farm. All right now, let's move on to Genesis chapter 1, verse 25. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. 
As with the creatures of the sea and air, the land creatures are made with the capability to produce, reproduce after his and their kind. Again, God finishes creating these three categories and sees his work as good. We should notice there are many missing, undiscussed animals. These categories are quite general and not intended to be exhaustive. What about rodents? Are they creeping things? What about insects? What about worms? Or some might ask, what about dinosaurs? The silence of the text on such matters is just that, no information. Alright, it does not imply ignorance or avoidance. The author just tells the story he wants to tell. And just as he does not divide the stars into planets, comets, meteors, and distant suns, he does not give more than a brief description of the creative activities of God on each of these days. But for now, that's what Day 5 Animal Life is all about. With that being said, we will close out with prayer. O oh, Heavenly Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we thank you for allowing us to continue to receive more portions of your word. We pray that this word stirs up something on the inside of us that will allow us to trust you completely. It is our hope that we learn and begin to trust you with our whole hearts. Help us to learn how to shield off the craftiness of the adversary by applying what we have learned through prayer, study of your word, and direction from your Holy Spirit. O oh, Holy Spirit, we ask that you fall fresh on us, for we need the power of your anointing. It is always in the precious name of Jesus we pray. Thank you. Uh, amen. Thank you for tuning in. You can find Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry Podcast on Apple Pro- Podcast, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeart, Radio, Google Podcast, Amazon Music, and Audible. You can find Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry Podcast most anywhere you receive your podcast. You can also find Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry on our website at www.GodInOurLivesEveryday.com. That's www.GodInOurLivesEveryday.com. You can also hashtag HBS and DWJ. That's HBS, the and sign, the letter DWJ. And all right, remember, put God first and everything else will follow. To God goes the glory, the glory, glory.